Hey everyone, JJ Cagle here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the sleep schedule, wind down, and wind down shortcuts features in iOS 14. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open the health app. And once we've opened that, we're going to want to click on browse in the bottom right corner and scroll down until we find sleep. Go ahead and click on sleep and scroll down until you find this full schedule and options button. Go ahead and click on that and it'll open up this interface. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set our first schedule. So go ahead and click on that set your first schedule button. And the top here allows us to select which days it's active. So I'm going to deselect Saturday and Sunday and I'm going to set my bedtime to 10 p.m. And I'm going to set my wake up time to 6 a.m. We'll go down a little bit and then you can see you can set your wake up alarm. So do you want an alarm? to wake you up, you can choose what sound and haptics that your phone will uh, use to wake you up, uh, the volume, and you can choose if there's a snooze button when it gives you the alarm. So once we've, you've got that customized, go ahead and click that add button. And then under additional details, we can see sleep goal. And we can change that to whatever we want. I'm gonna choose eight hours. And then under that, we'll see wind down. This allows you to select uh, the time what how much time before your bedtime your phone will be in wind down mode and What wind down mode is kind of kind is is it kind of eliminates distractions and runs some shortcuts that you set to help get you ready for bed So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that at one hour and then I'm gonna click on wind down shortcuts And I'm gonna click add a shortcut and you can choose whatever shortcut you want whatever shortcuts you've customized in the shortcut app I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this weather and show weather in Eagle River when wind down starts. Go ahead and go back to full schedule and it will now run that shortcut when wind down starts. And then at the bottom we see options. So there are some options you can choose in here. And what turn on automatically is, is that once downtime starts, it's gonna kind of simplify your lock screen and it's gonna eliminate distractions, not show notifications, uh, not forward calls through, but you can give certain callers permission to break through the do not disturb. And you can select whether you want it to show the time and date. Do you want it to track your time in bed with the iPhone based on when you pick up your iPhone first in the morning and put it down last at night? Do you want reminders of when you need to go to bed? Do you want to see sleep results? So these types of options. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. Please subscribe.